Greetings, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of the Terra Venture Podcast. Anthony Marsh on Power Rangers Lost the Galaxy fan film with Terra Venture Podcast episode 352, presented by my Morphin Megaverse Power Rangers Facebook group. So in my very first video of PR Lost Galaxy 2014 uh, for the 10th anniversary, and I, I apologize for not posting as much, but I need to get back to, you know, doing stuff because right now I'm still in the middle of production on a Power Rangers fan film project. And also I'm surprised that a lot of people actually saw the trailer for Power Rangers Lost in Galaxy 2022. And that's pretty good so far how, how much... Uh, once again, people actually saw the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer, the trailer is on my channel. Um, as a channel trailer, when you click to my to my channel, you can see the trailer from there. And yes, my friends, I have now turned the big 3-0 at, as of this recording. So therefore, I would like to thank everybody for all those birthday wishes I got. It, was, it, it really meant a lot for me and as well as uh, many, many happy returns. Okay, so a while ago, I had a comment from somebody in the comment section on one of my older videos um, saying something about Dino Fury's toy line being lackluster. I forgot where, 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 where the comment originated. And um, <clears throat> because, oh, um, I had a... Um, you know, a video request from a YouTuber by the name, uh, uh, someone who commented on my 30th anniversary speculation video, um, CM, CML Moss, Moss Star 007. I would like to thank him for this video, uh, request for him, for me to do a rant about the Dino Fury toy line. Something that I, that had come across to mind spontaneously at the moment right now. Uh, thank you, CM, CML, uh, Moss Star 007 for the um, request for a rant for me to talk about the toy line for Power Rangers Dino Fury. As you may know, um, I have not been keeping up with Power Rangers Dino Fury at all for the last two years. Um, simply because I just... My mind was like on other things and how 2021 and 2022 this year has been... In the spite the fact that, you know, after Beast Morphers, I kind of felt like I just wanted to uh, step away from Power Rangers for another two years again. Not that, you know, Dino Fury was going to be another Ninja, Ninja Steel type season or anything, but if it is, well, because, you know, the thing is with a lot of these modern Power Ranger seasons after, you know, the Disney era, and again, the same old song and dance. And now I'm in my, you know, new decade of life. Same old me probably likely rambling about, you know, these modern Ranger seasons. But I don't want to be that person again. I think I pretty much get the gist. I already know what I said before in the past. But the thing is, you know, Dino Fury, for all things considered, you know, things have just been hush-hush with that series. And I can see that a lot of Power Ranger fans actually like Dino Fury, um, for the most part. Although I have not been watching Dino Fury, I have not been following Dino Fury, but besides a few little bit of spoilerly, uh, spoilerly, um, uh, spoilered, uh, things, like, you know, once again, Izzy, the, uh, Dino Fury Green Ranger, uh, coming out as our first LGBT Power Ranger, and all of that, but I honestly, and Lord Zed coming back in Dino Fury, but I honestly, I hate to say this, folks, I don't really care for Dino Fury, like, to be honest, though, Dino Fury was just a season they did because, you know, Hasbro made it clear that after Beast Morphers, they were not going to do any of the following Sentais that would be hard to do for Power Rangers before the, what they said they were going to do, and given what the Illuminati had reported, um, two years ago about the whole Power Rangers, uh, will stop adapting Sentai and the Hasbro Toei split thing, uh, that, again, the Illuminati had reported two years ago at the exact... So, then again, I just don't have no interest in Dino Fury. And also, I have not seen the Sentai that it's adapted from, that being Rue Soldier. Um, so, I, I really don't really care much about the series. But besides the fact that, again, two major big highlights of the, of the two years of it. First, LGBTQ Power Ranger in the main universe of shows. And then the return of 
Power Rangers greatest I iconic big bad Lord Zed. That's it. Even though I'll talk about Lord Zed's return once I once I do my watch through of Dino Fury, and if something is alarming about Lord Zed's return and the different uh, change in his voice actor, that will warrant a video for another time and another day. But specifically, the toy line for Dino Fury. Dino Fury's toy line, from what I've noticed upon going to Walmart, Target, and even on Amazon and eBay, and even on Hasbro Pulse's uh, own website for Power, Ranger, Pro Power Rangers product, there isn't that much consistency or visibility of more Dino Fury product that, that would catch my uh, interest in my eye. Because a lot of the majority of the items that are in Dino Fury's toy line, with the exception of that Dino Knight Morpher and a Lightning Collection figure of Zato, the Red Dino Fury Ranger, and some Void Knight merchandise, I'm just not a big fan of. Now, again, the only Dino Fury figures I have in my Hasbro Power Rangers collection is the Dino Fury Pink Ranger and Void Knight's basic 6-inch figures. I don't have anything for Dino Fury that would catch my attention or get you know get, you know catch my eye at all simply because you know Dino Fury is just not uh you know what what I'm into right now even though right now I'm focused on once again grown ass old me old 30 year old me still doing that same old thing I've been doing for the last 10 years on this channel and for the last 12 years I've been doing said fan film thing but again but Dino Fury had some um you know, the thing is, I've noticed how there wasn't that much consistency uh, in um, transparent of Dino Fury product to go around with. Because, you know, with once if we ever do have Toys R Us again here in the United States, there will be more Power Rangers stuff, mostly for the Lightning Collection. Uh, you know, mostly taking up most space on the, store, on the shelf for, for the Power Rangers section of toys. But Dino Fury's toy line has been... Well, in fact, was lackluster. And this takes me way back to back when I used to rant about Ninja Steel's toy line for, for some tidbits. And how I felt about Ninja Steel and the poor quality of toys and the, the amount of product they put out for Ninja Steel. And in comparison now, all these years later, five to six years later with uh, Dino Fury. And why Dino Fury pretty much doesn't have anything I, I want. So, therefore, I'm not really interested in any anything from Dino Fury's toy line, unless if it's likely that Dino Knight Morpher. Now, admittedly, that Dino Knight Morpher is pretty awesome. Um, and probably the Dino Fury Saber, I guess, since I didn't get the Beast Saber or the Beast King Saber or any of the Beast Morpher um, Morphers, basically. Also, the Megazord, the Megazords were inconsistent, and we wasn't seeing much of those on on store shelves um, as much because Dino Fury, you know, with their Zords like Beast Morphers. Um, when you when you think about it, with the combining Zord sets, ever since the 2017 Power Rangers movie, I've noticed how Hasbro wants to do combining Zords instead of having all the Zords in one deluxe Megazord set like we were used to in the past for a lot of majority of Power Ranger toys. They haven't been doing that as much. Role play items have been uh, hit, and, hit here and there, but though there is that Red Ranger and Void Knight mask thing, but that's mostly for the kids. But until we ever do get some Lightning Collection role play items for Dino Fury for like helmets for like the Void Knight or the Red Ranger, we'll probably get that down the line in the future. But by then, I'll be like a really old man, or probably won't be alive long to see them do Dino Fury role play items, since they're current. Since Hasbro is so busy right now for Lightning Collection, putting out mostly stuff for me, an older thirty now thirty year old Power Ranger fan, um, basically with all the Mighty Morphin stuff that's um, out that they've been putting out like the yellow rangers uh power daggers and her movie you know her movie based um power morpher and some other role play stuff that they have to put out oh yeah and the blue rangers power lance and blue ranger helmet you know when you think about it also to the next tangent because this is going to be a quick rant though thanks to a video request though is that well when you compare beast morphers and dino fury's toy lines 
Now, when Hasbro started doing toys for Power Rangers, we had more variety of product for Beast Morphers. I mean, if you know, if you go back to 2019 and 2020, there were way more Beast Morpher stuff. We had like, you know, we had the Beast Bots by themselves or bundled with their respective Ranger. We had uh, figures of the villains. Of course, I only had like five of the seven of those villain figures. Uh, even though I'm missing a Tronic Foot Soldier and Evox in my collection. Um, we had the uh, the Beast Morpher Rangers in their basic forms, and even with the Silver Ranger release with uh, Steel, basically, you know, Steel in his Ranger form and him in his robot form. Um, we had Blaze as his main form and then his Robo form for Season 2 of Beast Morphers. Um... But we never really had other monster figures and villain figures for Beast Morphers that they haven't thought about doing, like Scrozzle. Like, they haven't even did a, a basic figure for Scrozzle, but maybe in the Lightning Collection they'll get around Scrozzle um, and Evox since I missed getting his basic figure earlier. And Roxy in her purple form, which they haven't did an action figure of for some reason. Um... I don't know, because I get that Hasbro has been more focused on the Lightning Collection, because you know how uh, there are some serious collectors out there that are collecting uh, everything Mighty Morphin mostly for the hell of it, because you know Mighty Morphin is what um, sells for Power Rangers, because I've talked about that we need to accept that, you know, as much as we may be tired of too much Mighty Morphin, but you just gotta understand, without Mighty Morphin Power Rangers... None of the other seasons would even get this much uh, reverence in today's merchandise for the franchise from Hasbro themselves. So we got to understand that. Um, but lately, though, Hasbro, for some reason, hadn't really been putting much product. Because simply, well, here's the thing. Of, remember, of all the, for anyone who remembered me doing my original run of these videos, you should remember of all the times I used to rant, rave, and bitch back in 2016, uh, 17, and 18, bitching about... Bandai America and the amount of uh, Power Ranger toys that I tried to get, including some toys that I did get, but I realized I did not have the money for it at the time because, well, <laughs> that's the thing. I was a really bad Power Rangers fan, and I was a really bad, uh, I, I, I just had a bad uh, budget um, at the time. Of course, I was not going to collect every single legacy thing that uh, Bandai put out. I was not going to collect every single mainline toy for Dino Charge or whatever that they put out. Um, I did nearly got everything from the 2017 movie, though, but I gave up on that um, due to the fact the movie flopped. But, um, <clears throat> but man, but, but hey, but I'm 30 years old now. I think I'm at the point where it's time I started investing money and saving my money until I actually need something if I actually want something from Power Rangers. But right now I got to focus on what's more important because I realized, you know, spending all that money that I was spending like crazy just to compete with people on social media over who had the biggest Power Ranger toy collection. But look, I'm not into that shit shit no more because, you know, when I used to do all that frenzy of trying to compete with those that I follow on in the fandom on social media with who had the bigger and better Power Ranger collection, I tried to do the same thing, but I realized, man, now I'm 30 years of age, and I look back on my 20 year old, 20 to 29 year old self doing it. And I'm like, you should. I should have never spent that much money on all those toys. And now I gotta get all that, sell all of that stuff off, get all that money back, and spend it on something better else. Because, um, but see, that's the thing. Compare c c between Bandai and Hasbro with Power Rangers. When Bandai had. The, the, the license for the franchise for 25 years up until Super Ninja Steel. They had a whole bunch of toys for each season racking up the toy shelves all the time. You look at Mighty Morphin. We had like a whole bunch of toys that was going to be on the show versus toys that they made just to sell for profit. Even the same go for Zeo, Turbo, and Space all the way to Super Ninja Steel. But like there was like so much product that you can choose from for all of those seasons, including stuff that Bandai made that was never going to be on the show, but that was just only, like, cool to have for some toy exclusive thing, but even Hasbro has done it. I mean, Hasbro lately, for Dino Fury's toy line, they did those, um, toy exclusive batch of, you know, you know, 
Sockabockum like uh, figures of the Rangers versus some random monster that is in Dino Fury in the show or so. And also, so, and even they got those Amazon exclusive figures of the Dino Fury Rangers with their respective Dinozord themed bikes, kind of like the Mighty Morphin Rangers from the 1993 Mighty Morphin Season 1 toy line and the Mighty Morphin 2010 toy line where Dino Rangers with Dino bikes and stuff that's not even on their show. Well, although, take that back, when Mighty Morphin Season 1, they briefly had what was the road source from Zoo Ranger, uh, known as the Battle Bikes in Season 1, but that was only used briefly for one episode via Sentai footage in the Calamity Kimberly episode. But unfortunately, they did have the battle bikes for the Mighty Morphin Rangers in the toys, but they never did use them in the show. Knowing there was, there, they could have, you know, they could have used those battle bikes in that show, but that's a different time and a different, you know, different story for another different discussion video, if I ever have time for that. But Dino Fury, yeah, they just don't have that much good product to go around with. The basic figures. Well, I did like the Void Knight basic figure and the Pink Ranger one I have, but once I get the others, it's like, um, there, there's just nothing in the toy line I want. And then also, I've noticed that, well, with Dino Fury almost done with its run, they still haven't did uh, solo uh, releases for the basic figures for the green and black Dino Fury Rangers, considering we only have Red, Regular, and his Dino Knight form. Uh, blue, pink, and gold, but no regular black and green Dino Fury Rangers without any armament that they got in the series or whatever else they got. Because, you know, again, Dino Fury, they really should have um, put out more product um, to go around with. But at least, again, with Beast Morphers. Beast Morphers, we had like a whole bunch of stuff. We had the, the individual B-Sex Zords. We had the B-Sex Saber, the B-Sex King Saber, the B-Sex Morpher, the B-Sex King Morpher. We had some roleplay masks, mostly for the kids. Um, lightning collection figures for the red, blue, and gold rangers and Bla Cyber Villain Blaze. And we got Beast Morphers Yellow on the way for the lightning collection. Thank God. It took them three years to give us Zoe in the lightning collection so I can complete the Beast Morphers Trinity. And then even like the Beast Box as figures and then almost all of the villains you know i'm glad i got the two variants of blaze and only got one of two roxy variants and evox and and then we got uh monsters you know giga drones and gigatrons like a uh, um drilltron and vargoyle even got them as action figures um but they really haven't done enough um at the exact i wish they did more um, for Dino Fury, but, you know, but Beast Morphers, see, that was the reason why I liked Beast Morphers toy line than Dino Fury, because Beast Morphers, there was more toys, there were more figures to buy, more roleplay items, and, you know, one of the things I also liked, you know, from the moment I heard about Hasbro getting Power Rangers, and when they started doing toys for the franchise, something I've been wishing for the last 12 years, and finally had already long came the past, that if they, if, if, um, if Hasbro ever did toys for Power Rangers for the main show and the Lightning Collection, at least they were not going to put out a lot of product for Dino Fury and Beast Morphers, so that way I can s stressfully spend too much money on all things in the toy line at once, which is good. Plus, there's less, you know, this gives me enough time not to buy everything that comes out, that, out my way at once, because a lot of the majority of the product for Dino Fury and Beast Morphers, well, here's the thing. I mean... Now that Power Rangers is on Netflix, but it's going to be very harder for a lot of more new toys to come out uh, for these shows. And, you know, people are going to wonder, you know, since the show is on Netflix, I mean, this is also reminding me of all the, you know, thinking back to when, remember when Voltron Legendary Defender came out? Voltron Legendary Defender was only on Netflix, but it had a toy line that I remember being visible at, toy, at my local Toys R Us before that closed down. Um... But, um, but how was kids going to watch Legendary Defender if they could, if the parents or so probably wouldn't even watch it on Netflix or couldn't afford Netflix, but yet they bought the toy for a Voltron show that's not even on broadcast, like on Nicktoons or something, if it's on a streaming service like Netflix. See, that's the thing. But, um... Maybe it's because, you know, now that Power Rangers is on a streaming service exclusively like Netflix with reruns of the older seasons, uh, you know, habitantly on YouTube now. 
on the official Power Rangers YouTube channel. There's likely a reason why we're not getting much Dino Fury stuff for Season 2. Besides, we had like two figures of the Dino Knight Armor Red Ranger, uh, 12 inch wise and 6 inch basic um, being released. The Dino Knight Morpher and I don't know because I wish they would do more figures, more, uh, you know, Megazord toys or so because this just ain't enough uh, to keep kids and adult collectors satisfied mostly the kids because most of the major majority of these main line of toys are mostly kid quality you know kid grade figures and stuff well i'm just waiting for lightning collection figures for these guys to come out more um although i heard there is going to be from a leak for uh from power week from a poster for power morphicon last month that on the poster for one of the posters if you were a gold ranger membership uh person attending power morphicon last month there was a poster with all the existing Rangers that had their respective artworks for Power Mor uh, for the Lightning Collection, and one of those leaks included a Dino Fury Blue Ranger, potentially, you know, hinting a Dino Fury Blue Ranger coming out for the Lightning Collection. So what's up with that lack of transparency of Dino Fury material for the toys? If you're just going to just let let things slide. I wish Hasbro would do more like this for Beast Morph. Well, since Beast Morphers is already over, but I wish that they did more. Um, you know, Beast Morphers, we did have almost everything in the toy line, but it was hard getting all of the respective BSX Zords and, and stuff like that. The Dino Fury Zords, I was not that crazy about, so I'm, I'll am i pass on that. But, but honestly, honestly, I really wish that they did more Dino Fury uh, stuff, but now that we're going into our 30th season of Power Rangers, now confirmed to be known as Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, I wish that they would um, probably put out some leftovers for Dino Fury that they didn't release before they do any uh, Cosmic Fury stuff, I guess. But if not, then they'll probably just do what they didn't do in the main line of toys. For Dino, you know, for Dino Fury's two years, and just put most of that stuff for the Lightning Collection. When they do Lightning Collection, premium grade, uh, adult collector, series collector graded uh, product for Dino Fury. Yeah, that, it's kind of disappointing when you think about it because since I'm not really that crazy, I was not crazy about Dino Fury um, at all, and I know I'm a very bad Power Rangers fan for not following the season. That's my fault, folks. It's just, again, I want to focus on me now. I'm, I'm going to always follow what goes on on Power Rangers, but just every now and then as of now, but just not all the time. But all I can say is in my final thoughts, I wish, Di I wish Dino Fury did have more toys, but since the two seasons are ending, it's just like, you know, let's face it. I wish they did more toys to put out. It's just, um, it is, in fact, disappointing, but Beast Morphers... Let's face it, Beast Morphers did have the better toy line than Dino Fury because at least we had more toys. Um, but, again, Dino Fury was just disappointing in my eyes with uh, the toy line. But, again, some of the basic figures were good, but I'm going to get more of the, the basic figures um, and finish up collecting more Beast Morpher stuff. Um, but Dino Fury, I just, uh, you know, Dino Fury did have some good, again, basic figures, but... Everything else was just disappointing, but I so but I do want to close out by saying once again thank you CML um, Monstar 007 for the video request and video uh, recommendation for me to do a rant. That's just what I all had to say for 25 nearly 25 minutes. So um, let me know what you guys think about Dino Fury's toy line in the comments. To do if you guys actually liked collecting the toys or you felt that they, they should have had more product, let me know. Until then. Until next time.